I remember covering the Deepwater Horizon event that spilled hundreds of billions of gallons of raw crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico a few years ago when that happened. And I remember reading the accounts when it came out in federal court where the engineers of two different companies told BP executives in Houston and in London, British Petroleum, we pour concrete or mud on top because of the pressure, and if we don't do that, it blows up. And they went, you know what? You've already spent hundreds of millions of dollars on this well that would bring in billions. You're, you're over cost. We don't care. Dump seawater in. And they said, listen, we've got mathematical equations. We've been drilling for oil for 150 years. We know this will blow up. And if you go watch the movie Deepwater Horizon, because I've read the federal court case, you can play clips on air. It's like, I just watched it again tonight. It is just, with Mark Wahlberg and, and of course, uh, Kurt Russell and others, is just dead on, word for word, the federal transcript. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's like 99% accurate from what the federal transcript is of the witnesses. And they're like, listen, it's going to blow up. And they go, listen here, we're going to make ourselves some money now. And our British owners say that's what they want too. Now, why do I say that first? I've got Democrats on video saying Guam floats. Islands aren't the tips of mountains. I mean, you know Kona, the big island in, in Hawaii, is the biggest mountain on Earth. It's like three times the size of, of uh, you know, the biggest mountains in the Himalayas, Mount Everest. It's just, it's all below the water, 15,000 feet below the water, 14,000 feet above the water. But see, Democrats, they, they actually believe they float. Now, I'm not going to play that clip. Everybody's seen that. At the same press conference, we covered this yesterday, the same press conference Monday, Pelosi thinks Bush is still in office, and they're telling her, and she's like, no, no, it's Bush. It's Bush. Like a senile 90-year-old woman. Waters acts a little freaked out, and the, and the congressman beside her goes, just don't worry about it. And then she gets up there, and we've all seen this video, or you should have, you're about to see it again. And she says, well, you know, oh, uh, Trump's supporting Putin invading Korea. And that's where Aleppo is. She doesn't know that far, you know, East Asia, it basically is east as it gets, except for Japan and South Korea, isn't way over here in Eastern Europe. What is that, 5,000, 6,000 miles away? Ukraine. So that's how they tell the public that Russia invaded Ukraine when it's the opposite. When George Soros brags, he overthrew it, even though he's on TV saying he did it. I overthrew Ukraine. By the way, Russia invaded. It's their fault. I mean, it, it's like, it's all this double think where they, I mean, I had family call me yesterday. They go, how are you taking it? NPR says you're a white supremacist. And I said, I don't give a goddamn, excuse me, Lord. I don't care what they say. They might say I'm a blue butted baboon next. I mean, they might say I'm Santa Claus, man. The Easter Bunny, it ain't true. That's what I mean. This is truly what I'm getting at with, with, with the Deepwater Horizon and the BP oil deal is elites who don't even have engineering degrees. They just go, shut up, engineers. We're going to do this. And they're like, it will blow up. And it blows up. Like you start a nuclear war with Russia, it ends the planet. And it's the same thing. These elites have all gotten the power from other elites that took over, just like royalty always degenerates. And they're just completely insane. Like when Maxine Waters goes, Putin is telling Trump to drain the swamp. That's Putin's term. And it's Putin's term that uh, Hillary's crooked. No, this is a gold-colored, gold and, and white-colored curtain. I'm seeing that. Hillary's crooked. I'm seeing that. Uh, the floor has a, has a green, you know, carpet here. I, I've got black boots. I don't need Putin to tell me I got black boots on or Hillary's crooked or this is a black shirt or I got brown hair or I got blue eyes or I got white teeth. I mean, it's, it's just, and, and a normal person who's not elitist sits back and just thinks, oh, they must know what they're doing. And I'm starting to watch C-SPAN more. And the Democrats are so arrogant and so insane that they literally don't know what planet they're on. And then you got the Republican leadership who actually know what they're doing. They're a bunch of cunning scum getting money from Soros. That all came out. Mitch McConnell, Paul Ryan, Lindsey Graham, 
John McCain, blocking Trump's tax cuts to the middle class. But again, these are dangerous morons, folks. They, when they're on the news calling people KKK with no proof, they don't even care anymore. They're crazy. They're beating up people that try to go to Trump events or Milo events all over the country or threatening me. They're, they're nuts. And they live off this big, open, free society. And they just are like spoiled, rotten kids who don't care. And, 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 and why should they? Because as dumb as Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters are, their constituents are even dumber. And see, I'm not a parasite. I don't take solace in the fact that they've dumbed people down. It scares me. But see, they think, oh, let's feed on these people. But metaphysically, they become crazy themselves and dumbed down. I forget who said it, but the, those that the gods would destroy, they'd first make mad. Or the gods make those they want to destroy insane before they you know, get rid of them. And that's how they do it. Here it is. Here's Pelosi. And folks, this is in the same press conference. And she said other stuff in the press conference. This, while it's only a couple of weeks since the inauguration, there's complete evidence. There's practice. We've seen nothing that we can work, that I can work with President Bush on. And I'm disappointed because I thought that there might be some interest because of what he said in the campaign, which turns out to be. He's just like, don't just, he's like, don't worry about it, sweetie. He's just like, she, Maxie Warner's like, what the hell? Here, here, here you go. But I can work with President Bush on, and I'm disappointed because I thought that there might be some interest because of what he said in the campaign, which turns out to be not true, a hoax, and really dangerous to the economic stability of America's working families. Now, now let's go to the next clip. This is our video. What we're going to do. This is dumbest Democrat ever. Darren McBrain put this together. This is in the same press conference where she's like, and they're bombing, and, uh, and, the, and they're in Korea. Putin's in Korea. <laughs> she doesn't even say North or South. It's just Korea and the KKK. Well, here, here it is. What are we going to do? How can a president uh, who is acting in the manner that he's acting, whether he's talking about the travel ban, the way that he's targeting Muslims, or whether he's talking about his relationship to Putin and the Kremlin, and knowing that they have hacked our um, DCCC and uh, DNC, and um, knowing that uh, he is responsible for supplying the bombs uh, that killed innocent children and families in um, in um, what is Aleppo? Yeah, in Aleppo. Don't know much about history. Don't know much The fact that uh, he is wrapping his arms around Putin uh, while uh, Putin is continuing uh, to advance uh, into Korea. <laughs> Stop it. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, what are we going to do? I mean, what are we going to do with dumbasses like this? I mean, you want me to show you the congressman of Atlanta, one of the biggest, most important cities in the country, thinks islands are floating? They're, rocks don't float, dumbass. When you see a, 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 a island, that means it's land under the water. And they're calling me a conspiracy theorist now because of this stuff, literally. And I also saw comments today on this video going, oh, you're a racist. What the hell are you talking about? Pelosi's the biggest dumbass than, 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 than Waters. And then, you know, in the joke video, we got Gary Johnson just as stupid. He's a dumbass white male. They're all dumb. I don't care what color they are. These are idiots. These are idiots. They don't work. They don't have to take care of their kids. They're all filthy rich. Waters went to Congress with nothing. She's worth, last time I saw, like $50 million. But hell, take Pelosi. She went to Congress with zero. That woman's almost worth a billion dollars between her and her husband. She's worth like $300 million. Her husband gets all these government contracts worth billions. I mean, give me a break, man. And this is who rules over us? I'm done, man. I'm pissed. And I love when I watch, like, ABCs this week. It'll be, you, you'll see at the end, it's underwritten by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And the whole show's like, raise taxes on rich. Raise taxes on rich. 
When you know the rich wrote the laws where they get out of it and the bill they're pushing raises it on poor people because they want your money because they get it in government bailouts and government programs. Bill and Melinda Gates are tax-free. They've paid themselves over $100 billion the last decade since they went tax-exempt 20 years ago. Look it up. I mean, but only the elites allowed to do this. That's what pisses me off. I mean, I always thought I was just an average person, but I'm not. I know I've read 300, 400 history books conservatively. I've read thousands of publications a, a year. I know all about history. I know all about the players. I know all about countries. Hell, I can look at Africa that's got like 40-something nations and basically tell you, boom, 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 you know, down the Ivory Coast, everything. That's South Africa. That's Democratic Republic of Congo. That's whatever. And then these people just go up to me and go, screw you, right-winger. You, you're not smart. You're not an intellectual. I'm not even a right-winger. That's what pisses me off. Your stupid terms don't even fit. And I don't sit here knowing all this like a power trip. Most people that are smart have decided to screw the public over. And then you've got these people that the elite have put in who are so freaking stupid, they can't find their ass with both hands. Man, this is dangerous. And it's like every press conference now. Pelosi's at one thing going, what's this? It don't work. The microphone, oh, fix it. Ooh. Instead of just, hey, come put some money, please. Oh, yeah. Or just like, everybody pulls their chairs out for them. You go to England, there's all this weird royalty. You know, Prince Philip doesn't even know what a light bulb is. I mean, it's just like, give me a break, man. The elite are busy telling the public how scummy they are. You try driving a beer truck or a bread truck, or you try being a maintenance person. You try cleaning toilets all day. You try taking care of four or five screaming kids. You try actually working out there in America instead of shooting your fat mouths off all day. And how you love the poor people. You try to bring in as many third world people as you can, not to help them, but to implode everything so you can sit up there and feel good about yourself as you piss on society. I'll tell you the good news is they're trying to censor us right now. There's big announcements getting made. I'll do one more video on that in a few minutes. I'm going to let Zimmerman get home to his family. But um, guess how many views we've had on one Facebook this week? Just on the videos. Just in the last seven days, a cool 21 million. I just counted it up for it. I got here. A cool, crisp 21 million. Guess how many on the main YouTube channel? A cool, crisp 8 million. And then if you add up all the other sites, I spent about 30 minutes tonight looking at just the top ones. Guess how many views just on videos we've had on YouTube, Facebook, and a few other platforms the last, last week? It's like 35 million views. But that doesn't count Joe Rogan podcast that has 90 million downloads on average a month just on iTunes and then like, what is it, 18 million or something on YouTube or 20 million and then more than that on Google Play. Oh, they censored it and blocked it on Google Play and a bunch of other places. I've been talking to Joe the last few hours and or earlier today and all this is going on. And guess who has the all-time biggest, because he has the internal dashboard. He sent me screenshots. Guess who has the biggest podcast in iTunes history? Who do you think? Number one, and they won't show it. It should be at the very top. And Joe says, it always updates every few hours. They won't update it for three days. Because guess who's number one? Joe Rogan and Alex Jones. Number one. And I don't say that like some, you know, weenie measuring contest. It's that the truth is dominating. People are hungry for it. I don't care what damn color you are. And this is an exciting time to be alive, but here's the deal. They can't let this go on much longer. I mean, Paul Watson alone. I said 35 million. It's actually, I remembered his channel. I forgot that one. I had actually had a piece of paper over there. Paul Watson's own Facebook has some videos with 35 million views a piece. 20 million, 18 million, 19 million, 16 million, 10 million. He's got so many I can't count them with a 500,000 or a million. And it goes on and on, on and on. We've got like 12 big Facebook channels. I don't even have the crew to upload them. People have whole careers on videos that get 10 million views. We can't even keep track of it all. Because let me tell you, I'm the master of building a platform for viral videos taking over the internet with truth. I am the all-time chump at making money. And I'm not bitching about that. I mean, we bring in a lot of money. More than Rush Limbaugh. A lot more. We're the biggest radio show there is. I don't say that on a power trip. But man, our audience is so much bigger. And see, again, I don't use it with a private jet or some big mansion. Which is nothing wrong with private jets and mansions. That employs people. 
The point is, I got Zimmerman here on camera and a bunch of other folks. We're trying to hire more people right now. We need more money. I told my family, I said, I am going to spend 100% of the money in 2017. I'm not going to take any money. Last year, I paid off some debts and did some other things and kind of secured the company and some things. But, but this year, I'm intending to put all the money into really going hardcore on the enemy. Because if you're already kicking ass like this and got the pole position at the Indy 500, you might as well go, go for the Daytona and everything else. Because I want to kick these people's ass. Plus, if we can't kick... Nancy Pelosi politically harass and Michael Moore, that son of a bitch, has got six bodyguards at a time with guns. They get arrested in illegal areas with guns. And that piece of filth doesn't want a poor person to have a gun to protect themselves. Where they live in the south side of Chicago, the south side of Dallas. Screw them, man. We got a voice here. You may sit up there, the last domino to fall is these peacocks. On MSNBC, we're the big guys and we're the power and we're the media and we set the standards. No, you don't. Fox News doesn't have the viewers of InfoWars. But again, it's not on in the gas stations. InfoWars isn't on in the... The last places it's on is at the restaurants, the bars, the gas stations where you see CNN, MSNBC, or Fox. And you know it's a conservative establishment, it's a liberal establishment. Nothing against Fox, it's just that it's, you know, it's, it's the old version of InfoWars like 20 years ago. But that's all. You go get your tires rotated like I do. And, oh, there's Fox. Or there's CNN. Or you get in the airport. There's CNN. Or you go to the hotel. There's CNN. There's not InfoWars. That's all. That's the only reason to be on cable is so people kind of passively see it and go, oh, that's establishment. And they always act like, I want to be establishment. Like, I saw like this Fox executive a few years ago in the New York Daily News go, Alex Jones tried to get a Fox show, but we didn't want him. And I read that, and I was like, man, that's crazy. That very executive tried to get me to do shows, not once, not twice, but three times. And they couldn't believe it. I'm like, yeah, I went first class, the best hotel there is. I'll come to your... Like, okay, well, uh, you know, I'm not coming now. And it's not that I was being arrogant, like I want a big bucket of green M&Ms. I didn't want to go. And the media knows I turned on 99% of interviews, and I'm not acting powerful. I'm saying they're a joke, people. Even Fox, the big, the big king, the big, the big top of the heap. But I'll tell you, I see Tucker Carlson came to Austin, wanted to meet with me, had dinner with him, nice guy, hung out with him, hung out you know, with him in, in, in Cleveland and other places, known him for about four or five years. Really talented guy. I'm glad to see he's got the top show on Fox, being more hardcore. I'm glad he's there, but never asked me to come on a show, which I don't even care. I don't want to go to New York and be on it. I don't want to be on satellite. I don't care. It would hurt me more to be on Fox, people seeing me as establishment. But I can't help it. If I got the opportunity, I'd do it just to reach a new audience because it's the right moral thing to do. But I can sit here and do this video that gets a half million views by tomorrow, or if it's big, two million. We don't know. His show's got like three, four million viewers. I just showed you videos that we have. Just, just It's everywhere. You know, I do videos every day that get millions of views. But it's just that he had Piers Morgan on. This total fake shill, anti-American, anti-gun guy who's now the big conservative. I'm like, but he's safe, see? He won't go on there and really expose the whole paradigm. All right, Infowars.com forward slash show. They can't stop you, and you're the reason it's exploding. You're the reason it's expanding. You're the reason we're dominating. You're the reason the globalists are on the ropes is because they can't stop you. And I want to encourage you, more importantly, to get involved yourself. It isn't just about sharing our links or our articles and getting around the censors and, and defending the free speech and standing up against all the controls. I mean, they got David Brock. This next video I'm going to do, then we're done. David Brock is coming out, still even though Trump's in office, they haven't gotten rid of this new State Department office that's going to, quote, censor the media, and David Brock's going to be the big advisor for the fake news, even though he's the fakest news out there, openly in the WikiLeaks, engaged in all this fraud against people and lies and deception. It's Democrats, Republicans, you name it. And so he'll be the one in the Trump administration in charge of attacking Trump. Talk about a snake eating itself. And then there's like, then there's, I want to like Tucker Carlson because he's a nice guy. He's talented. He's a funny guy. I get a good vibe off of him. And then there's Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan had the highest ratings he ever had when I was on, just like Joe Rogan did. And again, it's, I don't need them. It's that I'm the biggest thing there is. It's true, other than Matt Drudge. And I'm sitting here just watching all this crap. And I have Milo on. I have everybody on. I want to build them up. I don't want to be the biggest swing in you know what. It's just crazy to watch them pretend that InfoWars and you, the audience, aren't the dominant force. 
So more importantly, start your own YouTube, start your own Facebooks, do your own videos, do your own analysis. They don't get caught up in infighting. They come and bot you to try to get you to infight or you know, tell you to join their little sector group. Just focus on issues, focus on Americana, focus on cutting taxes, focus on God, focus on freedom, focus on individualism, focus on exposing the MSM, and you'll dominate. I should do a cool college online about how to have viral videos and how to fight the globalists and just turn people loose because that's my dream. Look, look at Paul Watson. Look at all the great people InfoWars has produced, thanks to your support. So please go to InfoWarsStore.com. Amazing products, water filtration, uh, Patriot t-shirts, uh, amazing fluoride-free iodine and colloidal silver toothpaste. That's a bestseller. InfoWarsStore.com. We don't have big corporate sponsors. Radio stations I'm on have sponsors, but that's their sponsors. That's how our networks work. I have you supporting us at InfoWarsStore.com and spreading the word. So thank you all for the support. I'm going to do one more report. What else I was doing on Zimmerman? Oh, on the, on the big David Brock censorship and the huge Dr. Jerome Corsi breaking secret documents out of there of their plan to censor everything. And it's like, ah, big deal. You know, it's like, what I will say this. I can't choose what's going to be big. Fox News has a million and a half listeners or viewers every hour when they're low ratings. And they've got three or four million in their big shows. And they're always there. And other media sees it and thinks it's important and picks it up as a talking point. So I'll say that. That's where it's a lesson power. Because I can't say what's going to be powerful. Like this whole dumbest Democrats ever. It's only got a million, 200,000 views on Facebook since it went up this morning. That sounds great, doesn't it? No, that's pretty, it's, it's doing okay. And, you know, another half million on the other Facebook channel, another 300,000 on the other Facebook channel. Another, it's only got like two and a half million views since this morning. And, you know, on our YouTube, only like 20,000 views or something. So... You know, I mean, that's kind of a failure, two and a half million views. Uh, so, you know, we got to do better. Uh, but, uh, again, it's all hit and miss for us. But overall, we're hitting on so many cylinders, it's insane. And we're changing the narrative. We're changing the talking points. And that's what the media keeps saying with the Washington Post and New York Times today saying, Donald Trump gets his news and his, and his claim that media doesn't cover Islamic terror and Islamic crimes from Alex Jones. The hell he does, and I want to take credit for it, but it's not true. It's been all over Libertarian and Patriot News how they cover up Islamic crimes in Europe and here and how they ordered them not to say it's Islamic terror and don't use that term. Everybody remembers that, and that's why you're a joke, because you keep trying to dictate reality and you can't. Because people see through you. And I will not be dominated by women that think Russia invaded Korea or that don't know that President Bush hadn't been in office in eight freaking years. Okay, Pelosi? I'm as good as you at least, you piece of trash, you freaking filth, you bloodthirsty carpet bagging leech. Infowars.com forward slash show. Spread that link.